Hey, what's going on guys? It's Green Zero here with a Command Cup update. That's right, the Command Cup 2015 officially kicked off last night. And don't forget to head on over to Kane's Wrath online for all the details. This is the review here uh, for all the details in regards to what happened. We have the groups up here on the screen again. Uh, real quickly while we go through actually how it went down so a few changes towards the end there because we did have a few no shows so we did restructure a little bit here but uh, uh, nonetheless uh, big thanks to all the people Cabal for coming out he did manage to give us a, a big hand there helping that uh, that tournament get going or the week one get going uh, also a big uh, shout out to of course Flame Dream and <laughs> he didn't think I'd say that but he did provide a pretty good cast it was very popular We'll have to see if he uh, comes back uh, next week but nonetheless we had the series it's double elimination uh, best of seven basically the uh, the top two players from each group so there's four players in each group the top two uh, do go through to the next round and uh, we're just going to go through some of the details of, uh, of how that went down what actually happened we're going to go through the results and we're also going to show you what week two looks like and it looks very interesting indeed the tournament I can tell you right now is wide open anyone can win this head on over to Kane's Wrath online we have the countdown time of week two all the details stay tuned to this video we have the results for the week one coming up right now Okay, so here we see the original groups, Group A, Group B, Group C, and Group D. We'll go through them one at a time and show the results. Of course, spoiler alert, we have the replay pack if, you wanna, if you'd rather go through that as well. Uh, but uh, we're going to start with Group D, reverse order here, just to make things interesting and to help everyone follow how the video is going. So we're going to go start with Group D. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we have group number D on the screen here, Unleashed UA facing off against Sozdaddle aka B3, that didn't go down too well for Sozdaddle there, while Tiberium Future had uh, his own problems against Master Leaf there. Four games to one, he did put up a good fight but unfortunately was knocked down, and Tiberium Future then uh, took care of Sozdaddle to knock him out of the tournament there, four games to one. Meanwhile, Unleashed UA and Master Leaf wasn't that a showdown, these guys really hate each other, and they're going at each other the whole series, it could have been a lot closer as well. Uh, Unleashed UA going down and uh, he did <laughs> he did scream out some threats to Master Leaf at the end there. Uh, something along the lines, he's got pretty bad English, but it's like, I will fight you again and you will not be so lucky, or something like along those lines there. Classic Unleashed, he said something that was hilariously funny. Uh, I can't remember what it was, check out Flame Dream and stream for that. Uh, meanwhile, Unleashed did actually manage to down Tiberium Future, so Unleashed did qualify along with Master Leaf. So Unleashed takes second spot qualification, Master Leaf takes first place qualification. And we're going to move on to Group C now. Okay, so here we have Group Number C now. So we can see that uh, we had Inspire Phoenix facing off against Martok. No surprises there. Martok was a little bit outclassed by Nashington there. Uh, Kimasabi didn't get to play One Vision because One Vision just didn't attend. So we don't know where On Vision was, but he wasn't at the tournament. So Kimasabi got a free win in his first game. Unfortunately, he couldn't capitalize on it, getting defeated four games to one from Inspire Phoenix. So Nashington will take first place in Group C. Uh, notably, Martok did actually leave after playing Nashington. I don't think he realized he was still in the tournament. He said GG and left basically immediately and we're like screaming at him in the chat to stop. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, he was gone. So Kimasabi basically qualified by default in second place. He's obviously in second place there, so he's not going to get uh, the best uh, deal next time round. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Inspired Nashington will take first position. Kimasabi will take second. And that is your group number C. Okay guys, now let me explain how group number B went down because it got mixed up a little bit here. So basically, uh, myself and Death Sentence were supposed to play in round one, but uh, basically Maze uh, wasn't actually at the tournament. And uh, it was just me, Death Sentence and Granola. And uh, group A actually had one person rock up. So we decided to move Granola into group A because uh, basically two people have to qualify from every group. And we couldn't affect the other, we couldn't affect group C and D because they had already started. So that basically was off limits. We couldn't touch those groups. So we had to do with what we, we had to use what we had. So we moved Granola into group A so he could play Encore and at least they could uh, both qualify in a first or a second. So, so, cause we need two people to qualify from each group. Uh, but then Maze rocked up at the last moment and complicated things. And me and Death Sentence were gonna play a best of nine. And uh, basically, well, we're like, what do we do? So we might as well, so we thought, you know, we'll keep Maze in the tournament. He'll have to wait anyway. So we DQ'd him from his first round and put him in the loser bracket here. Myself and Destin has played a best of seven. Did manage to knock him off 4-1, so I'll take first spot in the group. Destin did go down to the loser bracket where Maze waited for him. And uh, unfortunately for Destin, he almost made the biggest comeback of all time. But no, he got uh, defeated by Maze. So there you go, group number B. A little bit shaken up, but Green Zero, myself, and Maze will qualify for the next round. And so that brings us to group number A, which is again heavily restructured. By Crush Owens did not attend the event, and neither did Jake White. So they, we don't know where those guys were, but they weren't at the event. Uh, Wookiebert was there, and so was Encore, but Wookiebert uh, basically told us that he, he didn't actually want to play. He wanted to withdraw, so 
Uh, Encor was left here by himself, which we can't have because we have to have two people qualify from each group. So that's why we made the decision to move Granola into this group because we didn't think Maze was going to attend either. Uh, but Maze did rock up after we made this decision. So Granola and Encore played a best of nine. We just decided to extend it to a best of nine and they would just play for first and second. Encore, uh, as we can see, uh, ended up crushing him, so that was a bit uh, unusual. But Encore will take first position in uh, group number uh, group number A, and Grohl will take second position. So there you go, group number A and B, a little bit topsy turvy there, but uh, we did get through it. So uh, well done to all the players, and thank you for everyone for cooperating there, as well as the compromise. But we'll head on over to group, uh, sorry, not group. <laughs> there's no more groups left. Uh, week number two, group A is coming right up. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we have the week number two here, so I'll explain how it works. So basically the winner of group A and B go into the left bracket, so Encore and myself uh, go into the left bracket. We don't play each other first, of course. Um, we play the people who finish second in group C and D, so Kimasabi and Unleashed UA will join us over here in this bracket. So that's your bracket there, Encore versus Kimo, myself versus Unleashed, best of seven, double elimination, four players go in, two players come out exactly the same as week one. And you can see over the other side, Nashington and Marsley, they won group C and D, so they start on the same side and they'll play the loser of group, or the second place position of group A and B, which of course is Granola and May. So best of seven, double elimination, four players go in, two players come out. We have eight players left in the tournament and it is wide open right now. Four of them will go through to the final week where a majority of the prize money will await them. Of course, we do have random prizes, but uh, everyone's gonna wanna be there. I reckon that the tournament is definitely wide open between about five different people, myself, Unleashed, uh, Nashington, Masterly, and Maze all really have the capacity to win this. I mean, <laughs> I kinda wrote off Granola, Encore, and Kimo there, but uh, uh, we'll have to see what they can do if they can survive through to the top four and see how it goes. But uh, anyway, head on over to Kane's Wrath Online. We have the countdown time of the reviews, the replay packs, the stream links. Thank you very much to Flame Dream, of course, for casting. We'll see if we can get him back again because he had, did have a pretty popular stream. I know a lot of people want uh, the streams as well. We are doing our best to get them there. So definitely from now on, uh, we're going to have some reliable stream sources there. But we did, of course, have stream for this one, so that was pretty good. But anyway, I'm Green Zero. Uh, good luck to everyone in the Command Cup. Stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online. Further details to follow, uh, and I'll catch you all there next week at the tournament.